Hello, hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Harvest Moon. We are near the end of spring. It's the t going on the 25th. We're going to have a good day today. Why? Because they told us to. If you're not having a good day today, I apologize. Hopefully my day is going okay right now while you're listening to this. I imagine I might be at work. Well, no. Might be home, because I'll upload this when I get home. Well, anyway, apparently the shop is closed on Saturday. So that way we'll take care of all our guys then. That is not ready yet, maybe. I don't know. It looks so god-awful. We can survive a couple more days. Woo, this is going to be fun to cut. <laughs> it's like having one of those shapely growths on, like, your back or something like that. And then, you, you know, it's nice and ripe, and you get to have the fun. Who doesn't love that? Ah, oh, I love it. Well, anyway, we are, yeah, actually going to be entering in summer, if we do get to it today, we might, which will be the last month of the game. We are on the home stretch. No more holidays. I don't think we're going to have anything, like, any surprises happening along the way. I probably shouldn't say that, because something's going to happen. So it's just going to be smooth sailing, and then we'll see, we'll, we will watch the credits roll, and we'll see how badly I did. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We still gotta get there. Before my game decides to crap out. Oh, I will miss you, Harvest Moon. What with your constant lagging and... Ah, <sighs> chicken problems. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Let's go see if... You know what? We will just buy. We will max out. We will spend all our money. I'll buy more cows. We'll see what happens. Hmm. See if they can survive till the end. Have as much as possible. Probably help out our score. But I can't buy anything today because it's Saturday. According to our wife, at least. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I need seven. You, you damn chickens have a, really have a habit of getting in my way. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I didn't have an episode up for uh, this weekend. I had some family coming over. Well, my nephew. He stayed with me this weekend. Not a problem, so I didn't really have the opportunity to make any recordings. I would say, how could you live without me, but uh, if I... I think that'd be really pretentious. Hmm, nice Sunday. Actually, today was pretty nice. Went out well, I brought my nephew home. Mm-hmm. That's about all I did today. Besides that, made cookies. Mmm. Who doesn't love cookies? And just laid around today. Played some games. Got here doing this. Alright, so we'll take care of the cows and chickens, and then we will cut our grass. Because we are sim farming. That's a fun game, sim farm. I was never good at that, though. S Oop. That's a wasted one. Sim Tower. Now that was a fun game. Hmm. Come on, game. You're gonna do it. It's like when you need to vomit and you just can't. It's like you might as well just get it. You might as well get it out of the way and you'll feel better. Come on. Nah, yeah, maybe it's not gonna. Alright, cool. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> it was hiding. Oh, I got to play uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, a little bit today. God, I forgot how hard that game is. It's a lot of fun. I don't know why people don't like it so much. I mean, yeah, it's different, but you have to consider when it came out. There was only the original Zelda when it first came out. Um, I mean, so you had nothing else to really compare it to. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, Zelda 2 is so different than the rest of the games. Well, 
when it came out, it was only different than one game, and you know, they tried something new. Did you see a lot of those, um, a lot of the things that they introduced, like magic, you know, that's in the game, um, you know, certain items, things like that, that they introduced, that started in that game right there. But people don't give it a lot of credit. I like the game. If you've never played it, you should give it a try. But be warned, it's probably the hardest Zelda out of all of them. Without a doubt. Mm. Probably, yeah, beats the first one. First one's pretty challenging. But, mm, I don't know. The problem is with that, like... If you run out, you get lives in the game, and if you die, if, like, you can you restart, like, on the same screen where you were. No problem. Okay, that's cool. You know, especially for a Nintendo game. <laughs> Hardly ever saw that. But when you run out of lives, you start back at the, uh, beginning of the, like, where you start the game at. I mean, you keep all your stats and everything, because there's, like, leveling up bonuses and things like that. Oh, man, he's pooped already. Crap. You need to do better. But then you have to trek all the way back to where you were. Um, so if, like, you're in the final dungeon... Ah, she's probably in the thing. See if she'll give me any food. If you're in the final dungeon... Well, that means you need to go through all the hell that you went through just to get there. And to get back to it. And you only start with three lives. Pretty annoying. Got any food for me? Yeah, no kidding. No, she doesn't have any food for me. Well, I can cut a couple more patches now since I got powered up for my lunch. Damn. Alright, well, I think that's all we can do, actually. Yep, that is... Well... Not even half of it. Oh well. Well, it's a lot of, lot of it though. You can. Cat's freaking out with her ball again. <laughs> she loves that thing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever beat Zelda two. My friend, who's a Zelda fiend, I think he just gave up at the, uh, with the last dungeon just because it's just getting rocked way too hard. It is. It's it's tough. Thank the, the final boss if you don't know the trick to him. Ha. <laughs> Good luck. You fight dark well, you kill this giant bird thing. I don't know like the story significance of it or anything. But then you fight Dark Link. Um kind of like in Ocarina of Time. Except it's even more overpower. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, you're totally screwed. Um, actually, fighting him in a fair fight is... I don't even know. I'm sure people have done it. You know, because not everybody would have known the trick. Well, there's an, yeah, there's a nice little trick. If you go in the one of the corners and you just duck, and then just... Um, you just do your down attack... Basically, he can't hit you. Oh, there it is. There we go. Basically, he can't hit you. And, yeah, then you'll easily be able to beat him. <laughs> oh, really? So, if you're ever playing that game and you do make it to him, just remember that. Go in the left corner, crouch down, and start swinging your sword. You will win. Kind of, kind of cheap, but you know what? You do what you have to to win. Yeah, it's rather, uh, rather tough game. They make you go through. I think it's Death Mountain. I think like after the second temple, and um, God, I mean it's just hell. It's so long. You don't have a lot of life yet. Um, really, really challenging. You know, you don't have, like, hardly any magic that helps out. I don't even know if you have the healing spell yet. You can get a healing spell in that game. 
Mm. God. <sighs> and you know the ending is totally not worth it. Uh, what we used to put up with back in the day. Played and beat Super Contra, Super C today on the Nintendo. And all, all you get for... Um, for the ending is just um, there is no ending actually you just get the credits with a helicopter sitting there that's all you get for such a terribly hard game uh, we used uh, 10 life code yeah. bye cow hooray We were, I was watching a uh, Game Center CX. It's a Japanese show. Um, if you read Kotaku, you probably know it by Retro Game Master if you've seen it. Um, it's on YouTube, though, the actual full show from Japan. Oh, okay, yeah, we got a name one. Um, affection, huh? Well, we will just call it love. Because I'm a, I'm a sweetheart like that. I have my ways. Guess we should probably go feed it. Wait, do we have to? Is it a small one? Yeah, we don't have to actually feed it. Wait, yeah we do. Maybe. Feed it anyway. Yeah. Crap we put up. Anyway, the one we watched was um, Castlevania 3. <laughs> They were on stage seven. Um, I guess they still have the sickle of that game. They were stuck for on there for seven and a half hours on that one stage. You couldn't get through it. Um, so they ended up putting in a code and uh, to to get uh, stage select screen to um, get to the final stage. And was able to get to the third form of Dracula, but um, it's impossible. I swear it's impossible. Well, actually, it's not. They showed somebody. They showed the ending screen. Showed somebody killing it. Hey, hey, there we go. And, yeah, all you got was just um, Trevor Belmont and... Alucard sitting in the uh, standing on the cliff looking at Dracula's castle as it goes into the ground. That's all you got for such a brutally hard game. And they, yeah, they were on stage seven and they started to go through like eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that's the crap we put up with. Just something about it though. Get out of the way. I always feel like an old fogey when I say stuff like that, though. Like, back in my day with these games. Though there are a lot of harder, newer games, too. Just not as many. And we're done for the day. Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Super Meat Boy, which I'll be playing next. <sighs> That's gonna be fun. So, it's the best you can do. Anything else you want to say? Oh, thanks! Well, anyway, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Harvest Moon. We didn't quite make it out of the spring, but we will soon enough. So, anyway, thanks for viewing, and I will catch you guys next time.